Hey everyone, welcome back. My name is Matt. I'm continuing the Code Vein playthrough. Um, just had Dark Souls 3 type of incident where I was playing and the game just randomly froze for some reason. Um, it looks like, actually, actually I'm not sure. Let me head up here. No, it looks like the boss is still here actually. So I, this boss has two phases and I guess if you beat the first phase, when you come back after you die, you only have to do the second phase. Which, spoiler alert, I died a couple of times because I suck. <laughs> and uh, this thing can hit pretty hard if you don't know what you're doing. So it's actually kind of a relief that it didn't save after I beat the boss. Because now I can just go through and uh, finish it, get it recorded. Uh, like I said, you didn't miss much the first phase. I got hit a few times, but just whittle its health bar down. Uh, yeah, I guess let me talk about the previous episode quickly since that was lost in the recording. Uh, as you can see, finish exploring this entire area 100%. Sure you're good and ready. Um, I finished off that area with Jack. It's like a memory where you get the Queenslayer blood code, which I have right here. I've already bought uh, Final Journey. I'm not going to be using this yet because I need to get some more passive skills that will make it viable. And uh, I need to be able to get the... Uh, what the hell is it? The Ivory Grace... Uh, Blood Veil. I think that's what it's called. It's like one of the lightest ones in the game. Um, yeah, that's about it, though. Just explored. I uh, the Obliterator Axe. As you can see, I upgraded it and put a fortification on it. So it hits pretty hard. But yeah, that's about it. So let's get back and do this again. And hopefully it doesn't freeze. Like I said, I'm happy it didn't uh, like mess up. Or like, it, I mean, it did mess up. I'm going to get railed. Or not. Nice, I was able to dodge it. Or I was just not in the path completely. Pretty much know the attacks now, though, so... Oh, shit, I avoided it. Nice. Ah, oh shit. Are you serious? I've walked right into it. Oh, what the hell? Yeah, as you can see, this boss can't hit. I need to get out of there. Shit. Damn it. I tried to avoid it. It's actually not the worst one she can do. I just want to get a stagger. Um, one hit. Nice. Okay. Yep, so that's that's the boss fight right there. Well, let me pick these up. Oh, I'm not sure if I was able to get them before it cut out. It doesn't matter. I can get them after the cutscene. So hopefully it doesn't freeze this time. I literally beat it, skipped to go to the cutscene, and the game just froze. So we'll have to wait and see. Okay. Cutscene's working. Uh, as I was saying in the recording that got cancelled... There are cutscenes that are unskippable, like this one here. So 
So, yep, you can't sprint, you can't do anything, you just run through. Aurora Valentina. We've already attempted that. But that doesn't mean... Your compatibility means that you would have to stay in the crypt forever. Are you sure you're willing to do that? I have no interest in living a false life. Whatever the torment, I can bear it. That's a hero right there. Helping her, then I must. Definitely one of the things that hurts replayability in this game when there's cutscenes that you can't skip. I understand why you can't skip it because you're supposed to like see all this. And I shall remain ever but still, ready. as long as there are still people who I would die to defend. So please. All right, here we go. Easy, Karen. I will be at your side for now and always. Oh wait. You can skip it? Oh, maybe you have to get into it a little bit first. Huh. Oh, forget what I said. I guess you can. I never expected to see you again. Yep. And then if you have all of the vestiges in an area, you get to restore the person's memory or something. I think that's how it goes. So that they don't just die. Or they aren't lost for eternity. I actually was able to get the the true. Well, I guess if you want to call it the true ending, the best ending, the first time I played, because I was just so thorough and exploring that I got all the vestiges and accidentally did everything that I needed to uh, save everyone. I think this person ends up still being the giant like dog thing, yeah, or wolf. Isis. Cool. Okay, so now what I need to do is go through that door. Glad that's recovered. Actually, probably need to talk first. Oh no, need to go through the door. Let me take a look at that blood code quickly. Eh, it might have something useful, but I doubt it. Sorry, what we've been looking for is in there. Let's head to the source. Yeah, Lewis, you're about to see what what's in here. Call those blood beads. So it's true. It was you all along. <laughs> Karen. Yep. <laughs> what in the world is all this? Okay. We saw the big reveal. There's Karen. Well, I don't think you can talk to her, right? Can't interact. I guess she's just there. I intend to keep investigating the source, but right now we need to find the successors. I won't take long. Uh, frenzy on Bloodborne. Yuck. Winter lanterns. Yuck. Another cutscene. All the doors should be open now. Oh, it's Jack. I forget, is this where you unlock him? The hunter. You. 
<laughs> I destroyed you with my own hands. How are you here now? Just as I suspected, they have the power to calm the relics. It's just like Eva's. No, it's even stronger than hers. You know, you could join with us, Carrier of the Blood. That power of yours, it would be a shame to waste such a resource. Careful. He's stronger than he looks. We'll do our best to shield you. Just remember to protect your heart. Oh. Gotta skip. Gotta skip. <laughs> Got some music going there. Okay. That man know about the relics? I'm going to guess case, since he said that, to be yes. Of the hunter from here on. Okay, so now if I remember correctly, I oh, want to go back to the base. You might have to go back to home base. I should probably just head back there anyway. Do you want to see our reality? Come on and let me take you to the underworld. There you go. I'll give you my own version of the song. I brought you something from the Schleast. Yes, thank you. I'll take all of that. I've heard stories. You found blood beads in springs and reported them to the provisional government. It seems many shelters have been saying you really care about others, don't you? I've heard still you hit you. Okay, exhausted dialogue. Do I have anything for here? Wait, what's this? Oh, do you learn her blood code? Ooh, her blood code and bridge the glory. I think this is where she tells you she wants to accompany you in combat. Leda. Do you I heard she looks very similar to at some uh -oh. point. She Louis thought it might mean something. I know not. Oh, is it actually it. Louis? Their memory, please. Let's have a look. <laughs> okay. An attendant of the relics, one who stands by. And serves a success. Please accept my blood. I am not sure. Here, take nice. It. Oh, you. I think you unlock all of those vestiges by doing or getting all the vestiges in an area, and then before the boss, giving it to the later person or whatever. Oh yeah, he is actually a pretty good blood code. As an attendant of the relics. But if I am with you, there may be memories of other All right, let's see. What does she have? Ah, uh, that thing. Okay. Do I have any? I do. I'll probably get this somewhere else. as well I'm pretty sure I explored the entirety of the uh... oh you get these in the depths I got it I got it now that you have returned Revenant's Greed. Good fool. Is that one the one that gives you more uh, souls when you kill? I'll have to check after this. Rusty Bardish. I had been so focused.
Ah, oh, why you sleepies? You have to. I can't restore anything anyway. Okay. Oh, uh, wait, what did I... Oh, I got Eos Vest. Actually, I have no idea what I got. Maybe she already taught me. Bridge to Glory. Cannot wait to get that one. Soon. Very soon. Was I a you were. Thank you very much. Okay. Let's get back to it. I kind of want to head to the depths since I have a map. I feel like this is all we've got for available routes. It's yeah, unexplored why not? territory from here on. Let's do it. And then let's go to one of the next areas. I think that's what I'm supposed to do. Only two routes here. Oh, considering this is water, these things should be weak to bolt. Right. It's, gonna, it's gonna be one shot on. city here. No. Did you pick up something we can use? Good deal. Not a lot of room to dodge. Let's see what the damage is without bolt on. She couldn't tell if there's any sort of difference. That's a solid start. Let's get some regular swings. Ah, bolt does the less, I believe. Sounds cool as hell, though. Ooh, RV Mastery. A oh, Lightning Barrage. I'm not going to be using it, but still cool. The Phantom Knights of Rusty Bardish. Ah, fuck it. Let's go this way. Give me that back. Nice, Louis or Louis. Fuck, is he guarding back here? I'm <laughs> just standing here. It's cool, I guess. This should be useful. Nice. Give me that back. Back. Chest right back there. Ah, belly bouncer. God damn it. Ah, shit. Sometimes it doesn't look like they're gonna follow through and then they just randomly do. Valuable. It's actually not bad. Just like Dark Souls, though. Converting physical damage into that kind of damage never ends up finishing up well. Or as you play more of the game, it becomes weaker and weaker. Kind of like the uh, 
like the Drake sword is always like pow a powerhouse in early Dark Souls one. But then after you start getting through and actually leveling up weapons, it kind of becomes not irrelevant, but just not very good. Oh, two of these motherfuckers. God damn it. Oh, fuck me. Oh, what the? Come on. Oh, come on. Why does that have such a far hit scan? Oh, what in the fuck? Oh my god, I can't do anything. Come on. Fuck me, dude. Lewis is doing all the heavy lifting here. Shit. My goodness, that was terrible. Yeah, getting used to some of those explosions is definitely a pain. Especially when you think you can just like literally waltz past them and be fine. Oh, what the hell is this? Light the area up, I guess. <laughs> sure. only one way to go, homie. We roll with this for a little bit. Uh, yes. Spike balls, though. How did I set it off? Is there a chest somewhere? I have no idea. Finish him off, Louie. Okay. 
Okay. Cool. I don't really know what I did to trigger that, but... I see something. Oh, okay. Is it actually though, Louis? Is it actually? Run, run, Rudolph. So we've got some trouble. Enemy below. No more trouble here. Queen Steel? Okay. Is the boss path? Uh, it's not back this way. Not there. On my way. Huh. There's got to be one. It takes me back to the missile. Here we are. I don't know how I missed that. So as we have those fucking water things again, they're a pain in the ass. Let's go do the boss. I'll do the boss and I'm going to check out to see if any new gifts are available. Like, I know the one from Davis is with just, like, strength up and whatnot. I won't take long. Ooh, now this is probably going to be the water boss. 
if I had to guess, from the, from, uh, what is that even called? That area where you saved Mia from. Ah, fuck, let's check the gifts first since I'm already here. So yes, Bridge the Glory I will definitely be getting at some point when I can. Mind Vitality is good, but I don't really think it's good for my particular build. Anything here? Vow of Acre is good. It's about the only thing that's going to be good here. I'll just, I'll get it. I'll hold off on getting it for now. I don't need it right this second. Yeah, strength up's good. Oh, enemy or item dropping. Pondering something? Well, let's learn it. Okay, I can do that, but I don't think I'm going to just yet. So let's level up two times here. Three times? Three times. Alright. Let's go see what this yeah, boss is all about. Here. We have trouble waiting for us. Yep, that's what I thought. Thank you. Get Shit, I'm already forgetting the boss's attacks, and it's only been two seconds since I fought it. That wasn't as bad as the first time. Oh, good place to farm Queen Steel and MJ109 Agent. I'll never be never be able to remember the best place for farming out the top of my head, like all the different ones. But I'm sure there are lists on on Google and whatnot that you can easily access. Okay. So yeah, we don't even need to go back to home base. Let's go here. I think this is the first one we need to or that we want to go to. Probably would have helped if I watched the cutscene to remember exactly, but this is okay. Yeah, once again, sorry uh, if you can hear. I mean, I know you can hear my chair creaking in the background. Just me readjusting, standing up, stretching my legs. I think we can go up here. Is but that I want like to a gate to you? Is that... Here we go. Yeah, so like a lot of the gates are going to stem from this huge area that we explored and unlocked. So yeah, let's take the elevator down. Can't remember which one's first. This might be the snow area. It's either the snow... There's a snow, a flame... Ah, uh, it's been too long. I can't remember exactly everything. Trying to see the hearts that I put on. You can kind of see them from here. Went full, full, uh, full anime geek making this. Even though I don't really watch anime, but let's try somewhere else. Seems to be locked by a device. Oh, okay, so you don't go to this one first. Okay, so that will eventually open. Yeah, let's just head back. All right, I can't look at the map while I'm here. Let's take that off the bar. I forget when exactly you unlock the Ivory Grace. Once I get that, I can definitely start... One, that and a couple of uh, passive skills. I can definitely start making use of Queenslayer. Running Final Journey, using Jack's 
partner gift, my goodness, I'm going to be absolutely decimating things. Just, just wait and see. It's going to be pretty nasty. Might be better to move forward. Okay, so which one first then? Uh, yeah, I guess we're going. This, let's go here. And the actual get right. We've seen a wall like this before. Yes, two seconds ago, Louis. Let's find new successors. All right, let's go. All right, where to first? I want to say the snow areas first. I think I'm right. I think I got unlocked flame weapon. This should make a lot of this a freaking breeze. Yeah, Jesus Christ. I know flame is is extra strong against these guys, so. That actually makes Louis a really good partner for this part, because he has that flame attack. Looks like the lost change based on the environment. Shit. Oh, what the fuck was that? Suicide bomber. Okay, let's move. Okay. So yeah, first drop down's right here, so let's do that. Looks like it wasn't a dead end. Nicola, what are you that? doing? We'll have to take good care of that. Okay, first vestige. Probably tried not to fight. If I had to guess. Oh, I forgot about these guys. <laughs> I'll take the echoes, that's for sure. Okay, so get this, and it'll lead us back to where that gate was. Yep. Ah, it's nice and. So map the area a little bit. An item sitting here. Oh, nice! I completely forgot about that. Choose that. Good deal. Let's keep traveling. This is where we were walking before. I miss items. Are oh, they both just sitting up here? Was there an item right there? Wait. Ah, whatever. Give me that. What item did I miss? I'll keep watching. Ah, uh, fuck. Let's go back down. Take a quick peek. Sorry. I'm on my way. Ah, 
Oh, right there. Oh, it's just a sunset sword. God damn it. <laughs> Alright, now back on the track. Yeah, in the end you'll get wrapped. Huh. Forgot about the holes. No one. It's open. Give me that. The hedgehog fort. <laughs> Gotta go fast, just like Sonic. That's a Damn, that guy had a... Jesus Christ. Let's go up here first. Huh. Hit part B. A ladder. Oh, fuck. <laughs> fuck you, Louie. You're an asshole. Keep an eye on your feet. The size of that thing. What the hell even are the thorns of judgment? Do people live here, too? That's a solid start. That's it. Oh my god, just get decimated. I'll take the lost shard, I guess. Okay. Did you pick up something we can use? I can't believe I walked off the fucking edge like an idiot. Back to it. Let's go collect those echoes. And let me check out what supposed ladder was up here. What are you talking about, homie? Oh, that one up there. Man, glad I died for that. <laughs> That's my own fault. I'm just being an ass. This doesn't look easy. There are enemies to worry about. Don't forget that rip. Thanks for playing. Stamp. I think stamps are pretty useless if I remember correctly. Organic soup. Or, oh, soap. Soap. <laughs> okay, which way first? I'm trying to remember. Let's go down first. Careful. 
It's slippery here. Good call, Louie. Good call. Lost near us. Yeah, we'll get him in a second. That's a solid start. Fuck you. No. <sighs> You've got to be shitting me. <laughs> Get through all of it so far without getting fucking uh, knocked off the edge, and now I'm just getting pwned. I guess it's not that much of a loss. It's literally just down here, take a right. No, it wasn't down here, take a right. It was down here, take a left. Enemy nearby. Stay sharp. That's a solid start. Alright, both of you can sit the fuck down. Give my echoes back. Give me that. Give me that. Alright, we are starting to run a little low on time, but... Can definitely explore for a little while longer. Now, way. if I remember correctly, going down this path over here is to a door that you go to later on. But I'll still check just to be sure. I can always use a vivifier to go back to the missile as well. Yeah, so this door we'll come back to later. A black door. Is it different from yep. the one at the cathedral? Okay, so let's use let's use a vivifier. Let's just get get back to the missile. Keep exploring for a little bit longer and then call it an episode. Been a pretty productive two episodes here. Getting a lot done. Take that off the bar. I may as well level up while I'm here. Okay. So we already went down. We explored that way. There's two ways. There's only one more path. Oh, never mind. Let's do the other path then. Okay, I'm an idiot. That's not the path. Here we go. This is the path. There's a breeze. I don't think this is a dead end. I know there's going to be a spike ball right back here, if I remember correctly. Yep. Funny the things I can remember. And then the things that I can't remember. Oh, I forgot about these motherfuckers. These, like, these guys will buff, and if you don't have fire to deal with them, you just won't be able to kill them. There is a depths map where that becomes very prevalent and annoying. <laughs> this should lead up to another missile, if I'm not mistaken. Okay, don't know why that thing never wanted to jump at me, but I'm not complaining. Yeah, I see it too. It's blinding the fuck out of me. Each successor has the ability to mend. Oh my god. <laughs> okay, Vion Vestige 3. A missile. This probably probably actually be a good place to call this episode. I'll grab this item here. We're out of those cramped corridors. 
Let's rest here. Let's go back to home base. Oh man, I love this game. As annoying as like some of the traversal can be. Uh, yeah, this game is fantastic. So fun. I just can't wait to actually get all the things that I want. The passive skills, the active skills, just everything. And just turn into an absolute tank. Getting there though. Yep, everyone, that's going to do it for this episode, though. So I hope you enjoyed. Uh, yeah, once again, sorry for, like, the little bit of missed content at the beginning. You still got to see the end of the boss fight, which is the most important part. So that's all good. But anyway, that'll do it, and I will, uh, I'll catch everyone later.